Hi everyone, welcome to Boomex Beauty Beat. My name is Laura. I am a transformation coach. And the reason I am is because I have transformed so many different areas of my life through honing the skills um, and including my uh, spiritual beliefs, my higher power, my source, whatever, into the deal so that we can all get to better places in our lives. And today we're going to be talking about the mastering the energy of money. Now, if you want to take a look at the other videos, the other transformations that have been made or that I've talked about, each transformation is set up into 21 videos. It takes 21 days to transform or create a new habit. And they're broken down into seven videos uh, in each category, seven secrets, seven ways, and seven strategies. So all of this is included in each of the transformation plans. So the first one was transforming my body, where I lost an enormous amount of weight, completely transform my health and my body. The next was transforming my beliefs around love, finding true love. And now we're going for money. And I'm going to share with you what I've learned about money and how it can transform the way you think, feel, and even the abundance that you will receive in money so that you feel completely abundant in that area. So if you're willing to walk this walk with me, come along because all you have to do is gain from the knowledge and gain from the ways in which you handle uh, how you feel about money, how you receive money, how you spend money, all the money things. So let's get started. I can't wait. This is going to be talking about happy money. So today's video is basically called happy money. So let's just start it and I can't wait to begin. So just to reiterate, uh, the happy money concept, we have to begin with healing money wounds. We have picked up money wounds along the way um, and created blocks for ourselves. And the way in which we can unblock it is how we're going to approach this. So we're gonna go into the seven secrets of money, the seven types of uh, money blocks, and the seven strategies to uh, the abundantly, to think abundantly about money so that we no longer live in a scarcity mindset, which is a very uncomfortable place to be. So in the first video, we're gonna be talking about the secrets on how we actually think about money to begin with. Um, and in calling it happy money, it already sets the stage for how we should be thinking about money. Just say it out loud, happy money. And when embarking on this discussion of money, we have to ask first the question, what is money for you? We're gonna get a little philosophical about it, okay? So I just want you to ponder these questions and ask them to yourself. Is your money happy? <laughs> and I'll explain further. Is more money better? Uh, not all are super happy uh, and many people with a lot of money are actually confused by money. And it's easy to get confused by money. If you don't have money and you suddenly get a lot of money, it can be actually confusing. Sounds bizarre, right? We all think, you know, if I had money, I'm going to be happier. But let's dissect that a little bit so that we make sure that when this money comes and as I create, a set the stage for you to receive money abundantly, we have to break down some of these walls and barriers around money so that when it comes, we are handling it in the way that it needs to be handled so that we don't mess up our happiness that we already created, okay? So you have to ask, does your happiness relate to money? And how much money exactly is enough? Okay, so start with that question. How much is enough? 
So when thinking about money, I want you to consider that money is an energy. It's an energy. It's just an energy. It's an energy. Is money a source of happiness when you spend it? Do you feel happy? When you get it, do you feel happy? Are you earning it in a way that is happy? And why is that so important? So if you're earning it in a way that tries to take advantage of people or tries to be dishonest, do you get money and deep down you feel lousy because the way in which you got it was not, you know, a true blue, honest way? Do you feel lousy about yourself on how you created that money? Because whenever we do things in a way that's dishonest or underhanded or trickery or anything that is hurting somebody else, because, you know, in a universal self, we're, you know, all one. And so we create bad karma or karma that is toxic because it can come back upon us instead of creating good karma when we work with the creation of money in a way that doesn't flow with the rules of the universe. And that is a really crucial understanding to have around the energy of money. So money happiness is very much determined by how you receive and how you let go of that money. You need to create a source or feeling in your life of happy money. And most of us, myself included, have con connected money from work ethic. I'm a really hardworking person, or we understand money to be, you know, the harder you work for it, the more you earn. We produce thoughts from how we were brought up, like uh, money's not easy to come by, or be careful with your money, or we look at money from a scarcity mindset. And guys, you know, this is all a work in progress. We can always go back to feelings, even though we take a step forward, or a couple steps forward, sometimes we can wave back. Be easy on yourself. A lot of this has become very ingrained in our psyche and it's difficult to break away from. So how do we break through this mindset? and make it flow easier? How do we break through that kind of like, I don't wanna say poor person mentality, how about we say scarcity mentality? And we think that we, if we work a little harder, then we will do better. And if we understand the universe and what it teaches us, it's trying to teach us something very different from that which was a really hard concept for me to grab. I just want to talk for a second about millionaires and billionaires. Um, you guys know from my last segment that for whatever reason, um, when I was doing my true love sequence, I was talking about how I was attracting almost all millionaires and I dated them and I talked about each date. Um, it from what my understanding was from all of these different men that I dated and they being like, you know, 95% millionaires, it is kind of an addiction in itself, that quest for it. Um, I talk in my last series uh, in that and that were, they were all supremely unhappy people. Uh, and they saw me as being much more abundant, happier, and they were actually stuck to me like glue because of the happiness that I have had achieved, regardless of how much I had, how much I earned. Um, it was like they were in an insatiable loop of I have to do more, I have to have more, I have to get more, I have to, it was just constant. Which begs the question, when is enough? enough and how much is enough if you're in a washing machine a slave to the addiction let's just say 
you will quickly lose your meaning in life or a meaning in life. And all you are looking for is more, more, and more. I do understand we all need a box to live in. We do. And we need a place to go to the washroom. We need safety. We need security. We need transportation. Uh, and of course, a few other things. But how much bigger does bigger have to be? How much bigger does your box have to be? Isn't it about the enjoyment of our life? If you have too much money like millionaires have or billionaires have, do they feel happy? What I found is that they have more worry. But if you have too little, you also have more worry. So where is that balance? How do we get the ultimate amount of happy? Because isn't that what we want? I mean, survival mode is a really tough place to be. So we have to think outside the box that we've been shown in order to get that fullness of happiness. So thinking about outside that box is crucial in this whole money talk arena. So where this goes is going to be different for everyone. Where this goes for you might be for an example. Laura, you know, I feel like I'm making enough money, but maybe you're living in a city that is costing you too much. Maybe the answers for you lie in moving to a cheaper city. And maybe you've never let yourself explore that possibility. You know, we are in an age, a new age, where working remotely is a real thing. Once we went into, you know, the whole COVID scenario, we had to think outside the box a lot downsizing might be where your happiness is simplifying might be where your happiness is and because most of us have money wounds we've been hurt by it we have to heal those wounds so let's talk about that just for a minute as children or even as parents let's say Maybe we didn't get or were able to give things to our children that other we saw other children having. Maybe we didn't get to get the toys we wanted. Maybe we didn't get to go to summer camps. Um, money can be a pretty scary monster when you're little and you see your parents not being able to provide those things for you and how scary that can feel that can just there can be such huge amounts of money fear i know from my history i was on a money roller coaster so we went into you know periods of time where money was very very abundant and then periods of time where there was a lot of scarcity and loss you know my family my father worked in the real estate world we went through recession we went through periods where we were buying and going on multiple trips and then periods of time where we had to sell our house because the market crashed and things like that so in seeing you know happiness come and go in the family because of how money was perceived so in fact, money can be your best friend instead of a monster. But how, how can we make it that? How can we make it that? Let's just, let's just talk about how we can make money our friend. So when I was a little girl, I was chubby and I was bullied a lot. Um, I had one particular bully that was really hard on me. I used to get thrown off the bus. I used to like onto the ground. I used to get pushed down and into the ice. I lived in Canada where it was cold. And my strategy for survival 
was to turn my bully into my best friend. And what I want to propose to you today is if money is bullying you around, I want to see if we can talk about how to turn money into your friend, into your best friend, into a happy, warm place, instead of it being a bully for you. So these money wounds that have been embedded, these bullying money wounds, let me call it, are embedded and they can be embedded generationally. It can go all the way back two, three generations, four generations. We can go back to even the Great Depression and beyond. Um, we were taught that if you don't have money, that you're in big, big trouble, that money is just a great extractor of shame, guilt, and embarrassment. That you can't really enjoy money if money wounds are not healed before we get into the open energy of money. We need to really, 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 really heal our money wounds. I want to just say that this whole series, this video, is an introduction into happy money, into a different kind of relationship with money, into understanding the energy of money. So the next video, we're going to be talking about debt. We're going to dive into the shame and the guilt around money and the embarrassment. We're going to talk about the heaviness of debt. We're going to talk about how to look at it as energy. And today, I just wanted to introduce you briefly into the concepts of money and money wounding and happy money. So we're going to continue to dive deep, really deep. We're going to release the shame, the guilt, and the embarrassments around money. We're going to release the stresses around money so we can master and manifest any amount of money that we want or need to be happy and so that money can be our friend so that money can be happy not grumpy looking like this guy looks <laughs> and so that we can feel more fulfilled and happy in our lives so stick with me join in subscribe and like the video and let's embark on the journey of how we're going to transform ourselves into mastering the energy of money and creating happiness, abundance, and wealth around money. So I can't wait. I can't wait for the next one because I think we've all experienced this. I certainly have. And it's going to be an adventure like nothing else. So stay tuned for the next video and thank you for joining me into this introduction into mastering the energy of money and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.